Hello grade 7 students, welcome to another video discussion. So for the second quarter, our first topic is all about properties of real numbers. The real number system has several properties that tell us what we can and cannot do when we are working with real numbers. We categorize these properties as either an equality property, equality because they are about quantities being equal, or a field property because a mathematical system satisfying such property is called a field. Properties of equality. The first property of equality is the reflexive property. The reflexive axiom states that a number is equal to itself. Say, x is equal to x. Next property of equality is the symmetric property. If x is equal to y, then y is equal to x. Since x is equal to y, we can replace x by y and y by x, allowing us to get y is equal to x. Third is the transitive property. The transitive property is saying that quantities equal to the same quantity are equal to each other. Say, if x is equal to y and y is equal to z, then x is equal to z. The fourth property of equality is the addition property. This property states that if equals are added to equals, the resulting sums are also equal. Say, if x is equal to y and z is equal to w, then x plus z is equal to y plus w. And since z is equal to w, we also have x plus z is equal to y plus z. Down to the last property of equality, which is the multiplication property. This property states that if equals are multiplied by equals, the resulting products are also equal. Say if x is equal to y and z is equal to w, then x times z is equal to y times w. And since z is equal to w, then x times z is equal to y times z. The second category of the properties of real numbers is the field properties. So under these field properties or properties under this one are applicable only for addition and multiplication. So the first property under the field property is the closure property. So closure property states that the sum or product of any two real numbers is a real number. So take note of the word sum and product. So sum is the answer of addition and product is the answer of multiplication. So ang pasabutan na is, kung imong i-add ang duha ka number, two real numbers, ang iyang answer is also a real number. Kung imong i-multiply ang duha ka real numbers, ang iyang answer is also a real number. Okay, so for examples for addition, 1. A plus B is equal to real number, of course, because A and B are real numbers. Okay, positive 7 plus positive 2 is equal to positive 9. Next, positive 15 plus negative 21 is equal to negative 6. So as you can notice, for examples, for the two examples, numbers 2 and 3, 7, 2 are real numbers. 15 and negative 21 are real numbers. So, of course, ang ilang answer nga 9 and negative 6 are also real number. So, for examples under multiplication, we have A times B is equal to real number. So, your A and B there should be real numbers. Next example, we have negative 5 times negative 9 is equal to positive 45 because the two numbers are like signs. Next example, negative 4 times positive 4 is equal to negative 16. Okay, next property that we have it here is the commutative property of addition and commutative property of multiplication. So this property states that two real numbers can be added or multiplied in any order. So that means bisan pa kuno balik taro nimo ang order sa iyang number kung imong i-multiply or kung imong i-add, ang answer is just the same. 
So, examples. So, for addition, we have A plus B is equal to B plus A. So, in this example, in this scenario, we change the order of the two addends. Okay, we'll have next example. We have 3 plus 4. So, if you will make it 4 plus 3, both of them have the same answer, which is 7. So, this is commutative property of addition. Next example, we have 5 plus negative 2. We will make it negative 2 plus 5. Both of them have the same answer, which is positive 3. So, while for multiplication, we have A times B is equal to B times A. So, next examples, we have 5 times 3, which is equal to 15, is equal to 3 times 5, which has a product of 15 also. Last example, we have negative 3 times 6 is equal to negative 18. Same as 6 times negative 3, which has a product of negative 18 also. So, the next property we have it here is the associative property of addition and associative property of multiplication. So, this property states that changing the grouping of numbers that are being added or multiplied does not change the value. So, a while ago, about commutative property is that there are only two numbers involved. So, duha ra ka-addons, niya na ara multiplier o multiplicand. While in here, in associative property, there are three or more numbers ang na-involved. Niya, changing the grouping, dili daw ma-change agi ang answer. So, for examples, so under addition, we have quantity A plus B plus C. So, in this example, the numbers in group, are a and b so is equal to a plus quantity b plus c so on the right side of the equation ang nagagrupo na po this b and c so let's have for their example we have quantity 3 plus 4 plus 2 so we will simplify first the numbers inside the parentheses or kadong nagrupo so 3 plus 4 is 7 added with 2 7 plus 2, that is 9. So, if you will have 3 plus quantity 4 plus 2, so, ang nagagrupo na put in the right side of the equation is 4 and 2. Now, 4 plus 2 is 6. Added to 3, the answer is 9. So, both of the equations have the same answer, though we changed the grouping of the numbers. Okay, next example, we have negative 9 plus quantity 7 plus 4. So, in here, the numbers in group are 7 and 4. So, we will have to simplify it first. 7 plus 4 is 11. Now, negative 9 plus 11 is positive 2. Next, on the right side of the equation, we have quantity negative 9 plus 7 plus 4. So, the numbers in group are negative 9 and 7. So, negative 9 plus 7 is negative 2. Now, negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. The same also, the two equations have the same answer. So, same with multiplication, we'll have quantity A times B times C is the same as a times quantity B times C. So, let's have further examples. So, for number 2, we have 3 times quantity 5 times 2. So, in here, the numbers in group are 5 and 2. So, if you, we will find first its product. 5 times 2 is 10. Now, 3 times 10 is 30. Next, on the right side, if you will have quantity 3 times 5 times 2. So, ang atong i-multiply una is 3 of 5. Now, 3 times 5 is 15 times 2 that is 30 also. So, the two equations have the same answer which is 30. 
Now, third example we have, quantity 6 times negative 4 times negative 5. So, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Now, negative 24 times negative 5 is positive 120. It's the same as 6 times quantity negative 4 times negative 5. Now, negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. 6 times 20 is positive 120. So, they have the same answers, though we change its groupings. Okay, next property we have it here is the distributive property. Distributive property over addition and distributive property over subtraction. So, when we talk about distributive, from the word itself, distribute. In Tagalog, namamahagi. So, in our way of saying, giangay-angay. So, multiplication distributes over addition or subtraction. Example for addition, A times quantity B plus C. So, in here, ang atong i-distribute ana is kanang A. I-distribute nato si A ni B o ni C. That makes AB or A times B plus a times C. Okay, another example we have 2 times quantity 3 plus 4. That makes 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. Now, 2 times 3 is 6. Then, 2 times 4 is 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. Next example we have negative 7 times quantity 1 plus 5. That makes negative 7 times 1 plus negative 7 times 5. Now, negative 7 times 1 is negative 7 plus negative 7 times 5 is negative 35, making it negative 42. Next, for distributive property over subtraction, um, they are just the same, the thought are just the same from addition, but the only change is that the operation. So, since over addition, ang iyang operation, of course, is addition, in here, subtraction, minus. So, we'll have A times quantity B minus C. Now, we will distribute A, making it A times B minus A times C. Okay, so for our example, we have 2 times quantity 4 minus 1. Now, in here, we will distribute 2 to 4 and 1, making it 2 times 4 minus 2 times 1. So, the operation here is subtraction since this is over subtraction. Now, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 2 times 1 is 2. Now, 8 minus 2 is 6. Next example, we have 3 times quantity 10 minus 6. Now, we will distribute 3 to 10 and 6, making it 3 times 10 minus 3 times 6. Now, 3 times 10 is 30, minus 3 times 6 is 18. Now, 30 minus 18 equals 12. Next property is the identity property of addition and identity property of multiplication. Now, this property states that any number added or multiplied to the identity element, the given number will remain unchanged. So, this means, bisag unsa kuno nga number, i-add ni mo sa identity element or bisag unsa nga number, i-mong i-multiply sa identity element, mauraga po ang number. Now, for our identity element in addition or the additive identity, that is 0. So, any number added to 0, the answer is equal to itself. Now, for the multiplicative identity, that is equal to 1. So, any number nga i-multiply ni 1, mo equal po siya ni itself. And for our examples under addition, we have 1, A plus 0, that is equal to A. Now, take note that the additive identity is 0. Nga any number kung i-add ni mong 0, mo equal dyan na og itself. Next example, we have 7 plus 0, that is equal to 7. Negative 3 plus 0, that is equal to negative 3. So, for our examples under multiplication, we have a times 1, that is equal to a, since the multiplicative identity is 1. Next example, we have 
2 times 1, that is equal to 2. Next, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. So down to our last property, we have inverse property of addition and inverse property of multiplication. So this property states that any number added or multiplied to the inverse element, the answer is 0 and 1 respectively. So that means, bisag unsang unwa number, i-add ni mo sa iyang inverse element, ang answer kay 0. Yung bisag unsa nga number, imong i-times, imong i-multiplied sa yung inverse element, the answer is 1. So, for the inverse element under addition, or the inverse element is the opposite sign. Now, for the multiplication, the inverse element is its reciprocal. And for the examples under addition, we have for number 1, a plus the inverse element, it's the opposite. So, a plus negative of a, that is equal to 0. Next example, we have 7, and then the opposite of 7 is negative 7. So, 7 plus negative 7 equals 0. Next, negative 3 plus 3, the answer is also 0. And for our example under multiplication, we have a times its reciprocal, 1 over a. So, meaning if the numerator inverse the numer denominator. So, a times 1 over a, that is equal to 1. The negative 2 times negative 1 half is also equal to negative times negative, of course, positive. So, negative 2 times negative 1 half equals positive 1. Okay, down to our last example. This is our last example. We have one third. So the opposite of one third is three. So one third, I mean, sorry, the reciprocal of one third is three. So meaning one third times three is equal to one.